climb on top of the world, or at least that's how it feels here at Malin Head, the northernmost point in Ireland, and just the place to begin an adventure on the wild Atlantic Way. For visitors to Ireland, the Wild Atlantic Way is a brilliant concept. Over 1,600 miles of scenic roads and trails that wrap around the nation's west coast. The headland overlooking the North Atlantic Ocean is not just the top of the island of Ireland and of County Donegal, it also presides over Inish Owen. That name translates as Owen's Island. In fact, Inish Owen is a spectacular peninsula with some unique landscapes, yet well connected to the rest of Ireland. The sheer breadth of experiences in the far north becomes apparent when you seize the chance to go walking with some friendly companions. Normally to be found chewing grass 4,000 metres high in the South American Andes. No, not me, the alpaca. Welcome to Wild Alpaca Way and my friends Fred and Ted, Badger, Ollie and Benji. Oh, ho, ho. Down at sea level, it's time to start getting acquainted with the dramatic edge between Ireland and the ocean. Here at Five Finger Strand, the nation's northernmost beach, you can enjoy glorious seascapes away from the crowds. Driving through the gentle scenery of Inish Owen is a joy with quiet roads leading you to all manner of enticements to get out of the car. Inish Owen is often called Ireland in miniature and it's got all sorts of attractions. I'm taking the one kilometre hike to Glenevin Waterfall. And here's the reward for your effort, a cascade cutting through deep green. Wherever you are in Inish Owen, the sea and your next adventure is never far away. Fort Dunry is perched on an outcrop overlooking Loch Swilly, and over the years it provided protection at times of war for the Royal Navy. Besides offering history, it's also the venue for Inish adventures, promising aquatic adventures along a coast carved by time. I've spent plenty of time looking at the sea. It's beautiful, but there is nothing to beat actually getting out on the water with my excellent kayaking guide, John Harkin. Lough Swilly is actually a deep water fjord carved by a glacier. It offers protection from the ocean, making it a great place to kayak beside and sometimes within the shoreline. After my close encounter with the water, I've headed to Ballyliffin to visit a Victorian farm building that's now a sought-after restaurant, Nancy's Barn, where I've an appointment with manager Lisa Long and a bowl of international award-winning seafood chowder. Our seafood chowder is made with uh, mussels, prawns, whitefish and smoked fish, and it's like a creamy tomato base. Ours is a little twist, so it's got a little few secret ingredients that I can't give away. <laughs> and after the world's best chowder, well, how about an internationally renowned drink to wash it down? In Ireland, you know that you're never far from a pub, and this is a very special one. It's the northernmost pub in Ireland, Farron's Bar. And I've been told that like any Irish pub, there's no strangers here, just friends you haven't yet met. Everybody gets a very good welcome. And the people here are so good, they're so good. And we all, it's a, wee, a lovely wee community and everybody gets together and we're behind one another and it's beautiful, it is. The landlord is Hugh Farron. My oh, great, great, great grandfather was here uh, in 1825 and uh, like anything else, my I've just taken over from one uh, generation to the next and I'm the sixth one the, that's taken over now. I've always said it's a talking bar and everybody talks, everybody mingles and everybody eventually gets So If you're here long enough, 
You'll eventually walk around the bar and you'll talk to everybody because everybody's talking to everybody. Do you understand? Open skies, clean air, classic bays and beaches. Bunkrana is a natural conclusion to a stay of sheer joy. Thank you.